Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. Oh, by the way, good afternoon and good evening for those of you guys at that timeline. You know, the other week we were in South Dakota and my friend Desiree, we were at the Reptile Gardens Zoo and uh, they had mentioned they had 200 and something species. Desiree mentioned she had a uh, hundred species or almost a hundred species. And I thought to myself, I don't know how many species of animals I have. I get asked all the time, what, how many do you work with? How many animals? So what do you say we go around and find out what is that magic? number of species that the Reptarum and PHB works with. We're going to start right here in the beginning and of course we have a bull snake, El Toro. He's pretty darn cool. We have a northern blue tongue skink over here. We have a Burmese and of course I'm only going to count each species, right? So obviously marshmallow is a Burmese but we also have Jeffrey, Sunrise, Snaz. Not going to count them again. Only one of the Burmese pythons and then of course we have the plumifrons, the the basilisk or what they call Jesus lizards. Those are super cool. We know this rascally little monkey up here. Oh, here he is right there. The black throat monitor that envenomated me before he's there. So that's another species right there. And then of course we have these guys here that I absolutely love. These are my little frill dragons. Of course, this is Big Mac from last year's production. He is getting so big and his daddy Nova, of course, is one of my favorite lizards of all time. These guys are absolutely stunning. So right off the rip here, what does that make? One, two, three, four, five six species so far and we're gonna go through the zoo we're gonna go through downstairs with the colubrids we're gonna go at BHB this is all our entire collection I don't know how many species I have no idea uh, I, I'd be surprised if we had more than 150 maybe between 100 and 150 I'm not sure let me know in the comments what you guys think how many species of animals do we keep here at the Reptarium at BHB uh, it's gonna be fun to find out now I'll finally have a number right of course we have baby Kush, the crocodile monitor. And hey, listen, these are Gira, the doctor fish, right? And they may not be a reptile, but they are, in it, they are a species, right? So that's another species right over here that we have. And uh, let's not forget my buddy Drogo, okay? Again, not a reptile, but still, Drogo. What's going on, buddy? He is definitely another species, there's no doubt about that. And yes, that was nine species. The 10th one would be, of course, boa constrictors. I have a bunch of different boa constrictors. We're only gonna count them once, I told you that. So of course, Cupcake is gonna be the boa constrictor that is number 10 species. Moving on to the next one. These, of course, are blood pythons like Sweetie here. And of course, Sweetie is beautiful. We also have Champ, the albino blood python that's under the bowl as well. Love these guys, so that is number 11. So we're, we're getting there, guys. I mean, again, we have a lot of stuff to go through. Of course, number 12 is gonna be reticulated pythons. I have quite a few reticulated pythons, but we're gonna start with Al Machino here. This is number 12. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Gosh, you're so beautiful. Of course, we have a bunch of alligators, Salt being one of them. She is such a beauty, and she is definitely getting big. But uh, again, we're only counting one species, right? We're not gonna count multiple animals. Like I said, I think we have 15 alligators overall, but Salt is just one. 13 so far, again, Reed tick, retick. Of course we have Tiana is number 14. Tiana is the Lewis Eye hybrid. So uh, that's number 14. Number 15 would be these guys down here, which again are underneath the bowls. These are the black headed pythons. Pop and snap. And then we actually have iguanas. We have Sriracha and Tabasco. And we also have Heinz and French's as well. So that's number 15. We have Chip and Tail, the red-footed tortoises here. So that is number 16. Of course, we have Ivy, Aries, and Verde, and that would be number 18. Uh, love those guys. So that We actually have the turtle tank tore down right now, but we do have turtles, so that is number 19. Then we have Diddy, Dixie, and of course, Bella. That would be number 20. Hey guys, what are you doing in here today? I know, they're just chilling out up by the light. It's a little bit chilly outside, so they're like, uh, I need some uh, basking lights, if you know what I mean. But that is 20 species so far. And now we finish Reptarium 2.0. Now on to the original Reptarium. We're gonna start with Bowser as species 21. 22 would be Breadloaf right over here, the Dumeril's boa. 23 would be Gramps, the Chinese king rat snake. And then of course we have a hognose snake up here. This is actually Peppa, the hognose snake. So she counts for another species. She's so cute, she's absolutely adorable. And hey, you know, even though we have a lot of king snakes over at BHB, we're gonna count Ben and Jerry as a species as well. Again, this will just be counted not as a two-headed snake, it'll be counted as a California king snake. So that's one more species there. And then of course, let's go ahead and say the first ball python 
would be Helen. That's right, now we have lots and lots of ball pythons, not only honey over here, but all the ball pythons. We're only counting them as one species, so Helen counts as another species. I'm gonna try to do this as quick as I can, so we'd be here all day, but we've got 27 as leopard geckos, 28 mango, the caiman lizard, uh, 29 the woma python, 30, of course, we've got Tazzy over here. 31, we have the Emerald Tree Boa. 32, the Mossy Tree Fogs. 33, Corn Snake like Maisie here. And of course, we have lots of Corn Snakes. But the 33rd species would be Corn Snakes. So all the Corn Snakes that we find is gonna go here. 33 species with him. And then over here, we have our Lichianus, 34. This, of course, is Reptar here. And we have a number of these guys anyways, but this is the 34 species, which is the Lichianus. 35 would be Pickles the Green Tree Python. We have a couple of those guys, but only that one. 35, of course, we've got Beetlejuice hanging on like Spider-Man over here. That is 36. We do have a cave gecko at 37 in here. And then of course our pixie frog right here, which is 38. We actually have three species of Dendrobate or poison dart frog. So that would be 39, 40, and 41. So that's those guys over here. We have a false water cobra, which would be 42. Crested geckos, which would be 43. And then we actually have the scaleless Texas rat joker here that's in shed as species 44. Santana Savannah monitor is 45. We got Argus monitor 46. We have monkey tail skinks in here that are always hiding out at 47. And of course we've got an albino Nile monitor chicken strip at 48. 49 would be the Dominican red mountain boa. 50 would be the giant day gecko, the Felsuma grandis. And then we have Chihua geckos, which are arachidactylus, much like the lychees and the Cresteds. That would be 52. 53 are the Aki monitors. 54, bearded dragon. 55 would be tiger lily, the Brazilian rainbow boa. This cute little monkey right here is number 56. Of course, the big cane toad or marine toad. This thing is a beast. 56 would actually be the Europlates frembriatus, which are the giant leaf tail geckos. Of course, we have the arachnid wall with my girl zombie here, and we actually have seven species there. So that brings us up to 64. 65 is a hundred flower rat snake. 66 is actually the mandarin rat snake. And 67 is actually the Mexican Scott's garter snake. 68 would be potato, the Tilingua skinkoides multifasciata. 69 species, of course, would be all of our water monitors with Elvis being one of them, toothless and so on like that. And the 70th species would actually be our Euromastic lizard. 80 would be Lucky, the Amazon tree boa. The 81st would actually be gargoyle geckos. And look at this river right here. I mean, the red is just absolutely gorgeous on this thing. 82 is the Kunisar Island rat snake. 83 is the first Honduran milk snake, which of course is peaches, the hypo Honduran. Number 84, we're getting close to that 100 mark. It's actually this beautiful albino Darwin's carpet python. 85 would be the Mata Mata turtle, the cool Amazonian turtle that looks like a leaf. Of course, 86 is my guy Karma here, the nosy bee panther chameleon that is absolutely a ripper. 87 would be Snoop Frog, the Argentine horn frog. 88 is actually Midnight the Mexican black king snake. 89 is the veil chameleon. This is actually Raul. We have a couple of those guys. And of course we have Jackson's chameleon for 90th species at the Reptarium. 91 would be this beautiful little monkey here, the mangrove snake. Ooh, doggy. I tell you, that thing is crazy. We're getting close to that 100. 91. Of course, 92 are these beautiful little white tree frogs. And we are so close to 100, but I don't think we're gonna get there. We got 93 actually is guacamole, the Mellers chameleon, the second largest chameleon in the world, biggest chameleon on the continent of Africa. And then 94 is my girl Matilda. Hi Matilda, what's going on? And then 95 would be the leopard tortoises. By now you guys know that we have Ho Ho Drogo merch. We have the ugly sweater as you guys know. So I thought I would just show you the hoodie. You know, it's getting a little bit cold and maybe Christmas is gonna be gone, but you still wanna wear a cold shirt. Ho Ho Drogo that merch is only gonna be available for about four more days. Link in the description, get you some before it's gone. So we didn't make the 100, guys. 95 species here at the Reptarium. We gotta get five more species to get to 100. But let's head downstairs into the Clivered Room and start seeing what BHB has to bring. 96 would actually be the Apalachicola County King Snake. Of course, the Goini or Blotch King. 97, of course, are Gray Bands or Alterna. 98, Mexicana Mexicana, the San Luis Potosi King Snake. 99 would be the Arizona Mountain King Snake. Of course, this is an albino Arizona Mountain King Snake, or what they would call a Pyromelana. And the 100th species 
species would be the South Florida king snake, or what they call the Brooks Kings. Pueblo milk snakes, 101. 102 would be Nelson's milk snake, of course, this being the T positive albino. That's an absolute ripper. 103 would be the licorice stick black rat snake or the black rat snake species. Whew, this guy wants to bite me in the face. 104 would be the Tiniata beauty snake or the Chinese beauty. 105, the Everglades rat snake. 106 is a snake I love a lot and that's the greenish rat snake. 107, where my passion started, garter snakes. This happens to be an albino checkered garter. Then another garter snake, this is actually the plains garter snake or a snow radix. Now we're over here at BHB upstairs and we actually have some morning geckos and they have a bunch of eggs in here so there's gonna be a lot more morning geckos pretty soon. And 110 would be this beautiful monkey here, of course, a Nuevo Leonis king snake or what they call a variable king. 111 is another Pyro Milana, but this one would be called a Noblaki or a Taro Humero Mountain King Snake. 112 would be what they call a Black Milk Snake or a Lampropeltis Triangulum Gagei. These are the ones that start out red, black, and yellow and then turn jet black. And you see, this guy is pretty much all the way black. 113 are some gorgeous monkeys, of course. These are Rhino Rat Snakes. I love these guys. What a beautiful snake. 114 would actually be a Taiwan beauty snake. Now I showed you the Chinese beauty snake, which is a Tiniera freezei. 115 is probably the most iridescent snake I own, but a little rascal and these guys must really bad. This is actually a sunbeam snake. Unbelievably, unusually cool animal. 116 would be the Central and South American tricolored hognose snake that are a little bit different than of course the Western hognose snakes, but gosh, these guys are getting big and huge. And oh, and by the way, uh, this little monkey here, Sokata, he would definitely be not Number 117. Another all black snake here, but these are actually black African house snakes. Really cool, I love them. They are like little miniature versions of the Mexican black king snakes. Absolutely wonderful snakes. Of course, I just got these snakes to add to the 119th species. This is the albino red banded rat snake, which is ridiculously awesome. And in that same shipment, I've got the 120th species, which is the Melanistic Dion's rat snake. 121 would be a, actually a gopher snake. These guys are the Applegate San Diego gopher snakes. Unbelievable beautiful when they get bigger. These things are rippers. 122, of course, would be the Muserana rat snakes. This one happens to be a super pie. 123 would be Colombian rainbows. This happens to be a leucistic Colombian rainbow, and I love this dude. 124 is a very unusual animal called a Calabar burring python from West Africa. 125 are the Erix Jani or the Indian smooth-sailed sand boas. Just cool, unusual, weird boas. 126 would be the Brazilian rainbow boa. Of course, you know, much like the Colombians, but just a little bit prettier and they get a little bit larger. Live bearing boa from South America. 127 would be a black tail Kribo that's just coming out of shed. Of course, we got Rico and this is Maya here. So we'll get her in a soak and get her shed out. And then 128 would actually be the yellow tail Kribo. Very similar animals, but but uh, this has got some beautiful color on the tail end. Now you might be asking yourself, like Brian, you already showed us a carpet python, so you're cheating, right? But the fact is, this is different species. This is actually a variegata chain eye, whereas the other one was a Darwin's carpet python. So these are from the Atherton Tablelands in Australia. And almost the same thing. Yes, this is a boa, just like I showed you before, but this is a constrictor constrictor, and this is actually a Guiana red tail boa, so what they would call a true red tail boa. I showed you the northern blue tongue skinks, which is the Skinkoides intermedia. I showed you the multifossi. This happens to be the Eastern Blue Tongue Skink, which is the Skinkoides Skinkoides. And then this is a really unusual Blue Tongue Skink too from an island called Keys, which is the Key Island or the Keyensis. So different from the other ones for sure. 133 is another Blue Tongue Skink, but this is actually an Indonesian Blue Tongue Skink, so a Talinqua Gigas. 134 would be the Viper Boa or Candoia Asper. And whoo, these guys are feisty. 135, the Stimson's Python, Antaracea Stimsoni. 136 is the close relative, the children's python or Antaracea childreni. And then the last of the Antaracea that we work with are the spotted pythons for species 137. I absolutely love Savu pythons for 138. They're kind of like the miniature Maklash python of Indonesia, kind of a smaller python. This is as big as they get and they're just absolutely wonderful. 139 would actually be my Boland's python. 140 would actually be what they call a javelin sand boa. Cute little monkey, isn't it? Getting close to the end here, guys. 141st species would be the rough scale sand boas. 142 would be Kenyan sand boas, a live bear boa that can have up to 35 or 40 babies. These things are awesome. 
And guys, if I'm not mistaken, this may be the last species, 143, the hog island boa. Yes, another boa, but a subspecies. So cool. So uh, again, I'm going to look around really quick, but I think that might be at 143 species here at BHB and the Reptarium. Crazy, guys. It looks like it's 143 species. Uh, so there you have it. I'm sure we'll be adding more, and hopefully we can continue to expand on that stuff. So let me know if you like this video. If you did, here's a playlist of a bunch of baby snakes you guys can roll through. Helps my click through rate. So do a couple if you don't mind. Up here, you can subscribe to my podcast channel called Checking In. On this side, I hope you're subscribed to this vlog channel. If you're not, hit the subscription button. Turn your post notification on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.